All right, this question is from Crumb Nine Cheese. It's pretty funny. Okay, so I have one question. How do you know how much pressure to push on the needle, the plunger really, uh, when injecting the numbing? It, that's a hard answer. I, I don't know the answer. I don't know if there's a textbook answer for that, but I'll tell you one thing. If you're meeting a lot of resistance, you're probably not injecting in the right place. I noticed that it's important, especially if you're close to a tendon, so you might be trying to inject it into a tendon, and that's no good because you're gonna damage it, you're gonna rupture, perforate it, or whatever. But if you're in an area where there's no tendons, just soft tissue, it should inject pretty easy. Now remember, if you're using a very thin needle, like a 25 or 27, a 30, the injection, the force you're gonna have to use is a lot more. If you use a thicker needle, like a 20 or 18, it's gonna come in a lot easier for you to push through, because the diameter of that needle bore is, is bigger, it's gonna be easier to inject. Uh, obviously, the reason they asked this question is because in this procedure, the growing abscess drainage, it was kind of really hard to push it in. And that was because this person had previous scar tissue in the area uh, because this had been previously drained a few days before it forms of scar tissue. So I was probably trying to inject right on that scar tissue and that caused some difficult and pressure in the injection. So the answer is you go deeper, you go more superficial, you go around it and inject around, and when you meet less resistance, that's when you know you're in the right place. For example, when you're doing the theco blocks, that's the injection right here, it goes into the, uh, the space, uh, and then it diffuses. I actually go deep, start injecting, but I'm meeting resistance, I pull back until the resistance is lost and ejects easy. That's how I know I'm in the thecal space because that's an open space where the medicine can diffuse through. So that's how I know I'm in the right space because less pressure of injection. So I don't know if there is a textbook answer to that, how much pressure is too much pressure, but it should flow pretty easily and if you're pushing too hard, there's probably something else you're injecting into something that maybe you shouldn't have. Hey, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying ED Exit Video Pro. You subscribe, you turn on the notifications so you're told when new videos are available and um, we'll keep them coming. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Carlo Oyer. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Bye-bye.